and converted it into a day of worldly festivities. If he thought that 190 years ago, he should see us now. December becomes an absolutely chaotic month for many of us. Perhaps most of us are shopping, double parking, credit carding, and partying. How are we preparing? Believe me, I'm in the same boat as Pat and I scamper around for the perfect gift as our family gathers together for Christmas for the first time in eight years. Our Gospel today reminds us that Mary, who has received the good news from the angel Gabriel, goes to visit her cousin Elizabeth, who is also a child. And although Mary is pregnant with Jesus, she journeys to meet Elizabeth. It's the right thing to do, as Elizabeth and her husband Zachariah are very elderly, and they can be described as the modern-day Sarah and Abraham of that time. Mary will be able to help Elizabeth through her pregnancy and the birth of her son, John. The journey is not easy, as Mary will travel about 80 miles, and much of it is on foot. Mary's journey will take about eight days. This certainly had to be a tough trip for Mary, who is with child. But Mary's story of taking that trip reminds me of another trip story. On a dismal, stormy, windy, gusty winter's night, the owner of a neighborhood bakery decided to close his shop. There won't be any customers on a night like this, he thought. And as he was about to lock the door, the, the bakery door, a man rushed in, shivering and wet from head to toe, and said, I'm here to pick up two sweet rolls. The baker was amazed that anyone would brave such bad weather for two sweet rolls. Are you married? The baker responded to him, asked the customer. Of course I'm married, said the man. Do you think my mother would send me out on a night like this? <laughs> Mom takes care of us, right? We are all on a journey. And like the man in bad weather and Mary's tough terrain, it is not always an easy journey. We are tested by so many things, and many times the test, they lead us to easier road to travel. Not necessarily the right road, but an easier road. Life coaches and personal trainers tell us that believing is one of the first steps for making a dream come true. Elizabeth spoke these words to Mary. Mary believed the angel's words that she had been chosen to be the mother of Jesus. <laughs> Belief is an act of faith. It is not a magic potion that makes things impossible happen. Rather, belief and faith allow God to do what only God can do. Mary's belief is a beacon of hope to us. It calls us to be open and to place our faith in God, who has done great things for us. I look around at the lights, the trees, the faces of anticipation and hope, of the perfect gift, and I say yes. We have done a good job preparing and planning for Christmas, but have we in this Advent season left an opening in our hearts to be open to the call of God as Mary was open to his call? <laughs>